Hi, it's Zoe again and in this video I'm going to show you how to carry on from the chain stitches we did in the first video to go on to making double crochet stitches which are a basic stitch used in all sorts of different crochet particularly in Amigurumi which is the stuffed toys which I know are really really popular with a lot of people again I'm using the Derrimore Studio DK and a 4mm hook links for those are down below but really any yarn, any hook you've got at home, use those and give it a go. So, for this project I've already done a short little chain, about 20 chain stitches. If you haven't already watched that video, go back and watch it, unless you already know how to do it, in which case stay where you are and watch. And I'm going to show you how, first of all, to work the double crochets into this foundation chain and then what it looks like when you're working them into previous rows of double crochet stitches. So, yarn in my left hand, hook in my right hand and looking at the chains I've already done, I'm going to start by inserting my hook into the second one. So not the very closest one, the second one from my hook. And I'm going to put it in just underneath two strands so I've got two strands on top of my hook and one strand on the bottom of my hook other people put one strand on top and two on the bottom doesn't matter which just be consistent make it the same with everyone so I've insert my hook then I'm going to wrap my yarn over my hook pull it through that chain stitch like so so that I've got two loops on my hook then wrap the yarn over again and pull it through both of those loops and that's one double crochet stitch now it's worth mentioning at this point that that's a double crochet stitch if you're in the UK US terms are different that's called a single crochet stitch in the US there are all sorts of conversion charts out there so you can take a look yourself if you're not sure if a pattern you're reading ever mentions a single crochet stitch you can be pretty sure it's all in American terms um, but when I make my videos I'll always be using UK terms because that's where I live so let me show you again pop your hook into the next stitch along now I can see the last stitch I've worked take my hook out a minute the last stitch I've worked is already pointing into this gap so I'm going to work into the next one which is here so I pop my hook into that stitch grab the yarn pull it through the stitch for two loops, wrap it over and pull it through both loops. One more time, insert the hook, wrap the yarn and pull it through, it's two loops, wrap it over and pull it through two. And I would do that in every stitch until I get to the end of my chain. If you want to pause the video here and go away and do that till you get to the end of your chain, feel free. I'm just going to carry on to the end. And if I can work out how to do one of these fancy special effects where we do a speed it up bit, this is where I'll do it. Just coming to the end now. Got one more stitch to do here, and that completes my first row of double crochet. Now to turn round and go back because I'm working in rows, I'll do one chain. This is called a turning chain. It doesn't count as a stitch, but it enables you to turn around ready to work back along and gives you the space to work into the top of that stitch now this looks slightly different from working into the chain stitches you can see I need to put my hook into the top of a stitch and if you look along the row of stitches they all look like little V shapes or like little pieces of pearl barley okay, you need to make sure that your hook goes in underneath two strands 
Okay. And then you grab the yarn like before, pull it through the stitch, so both of those strands. You've got two loops on your hook. Wrap it over and pull it through both loops. And then look for your next stitch along both of those strands. From the side you can see there's a little hole underneath them. From the top it's that V-shape. Grab the yarn and pull it through for two loops. Wrap it over, pull it through. So you've got one loop back on your hook. When you're doing crochet stitches you know you haven't finished a stitch. If you get interrupted and someone's talking to you and you forget where you've got to, if you've still got two loops on your hook you haven't finished the stitch. You need to wrap it over and pull it through so that you've got one loop left. Or if you thought you'd finished the stitch but you've still somehow got two loops, you've not finished it. If you get to here, be careful. A lot of people at this point when they're learning will accidentally do a slip stitch. So when you've got two loops on your hook, the next thing to do is wrap that yarn over. Don't be tempted to pull the front loop through the back loop. That's something else, that's called a slip stitch, and I'll perhaps talk about that in another video. But when you're doing a double crochet stitch, if you've got two loops, the next step is to wrap it over and pull it through both of those loops. Insert hook, pull the yarn through, wrap it over, pull it through both loops. And that's all there is to a double crochet stitch, really commonly used stitch makes a nice dense weave fabric, great for stuffed toys because you can't see the stuffing through it um, and brilliant for a lot of other things as well. If you have enjoyed this video please do subscribe and check out the other videos as well. There'll be one coming up with treble crochet which is a really useful stitch for all sorts of things not least granny square blankets and there'll also be other content including things I'm doing now, what's on my hook, different um, patterns I'm trying out, things like that. So take a look around, see what else you enjoy and I hope to see you again. Take care!